Okay, mat lovers. So for our vlog this time, we're gonna have factoring difference of two squares. Let's have the questions first. How are we going to identify if the given is a difference of two squares? And another question is, how are we going to factor difference of two squares? Now let's have the answer of the questions. First, how to identify if the given is a difference of two squares? Now, let's have this given here. This will be our pattern. We have here x squared minus y squared equals the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. So, this is our example or this is our pattern x squared minus y squared so how it becomes a difference of two squares so we have this we have x squared minus y squared difference from the word difference so we have minus or subtraction two squares will have two squares so meaning to say our first term should be a square and our second term should be a square too so is this a perfect square yes it is since our numerical coefficient here is 1, which is a perfect square, imaginary. And we also have here 1, which is also a perfect square. Our variable is x, and it is raised to 2, which is square. And our variable here is y, which is raised also to 2, which is square. Meaning to say, we have here our first square and our second square. So we have now two squares and difference, difference, we have here subtraction, difference. So meaning to say our x squared minus y squared equals or is an example of a difference of two squares. Okay, mat lovers, now let us have the answer of the second question. How to factor difference of two squares? So we have here again, x squared minus y squared equals the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. How did we get this? How did we get this answer? So simply, we will have two steps by our pattern. We have here x squared. Let us consider first our first term, x squared. We are going to get the factors of x squared. And of course, the factors are x and x so we distribute it here preparing two parentheses on the other side and we distribute x and x next step we will consider our second term negative y squared so what are the factors of negative y squared of course y squared we will have y and y y and y for negative of course the factors for negative are positive and negative positive and negative so to review our answer for this one having special product we will have x times x equals x squared and positive y times negative y equals negative y squared considering our technique in having this pattern of special products now let us have our first example math lovers we have here x squared minus 4 equals the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 2. So given x squared minus 4 equals this answer. Question, is this an example of a difference of two squares? Yes, it is. We have numerical coefficient imaginary 1, perfect square. 
x squared is a perfect square and 4 is also a perfect square we have difference we have here difference so x squared minus 4 is an example of a difference of two squares now how did we get the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 2 we have two steps right so the first step is consider our first term x squared Get the factors of x squared. Of course, the factors are x and x. And let us consider now our second term, negative 4. What are the factors of negative 4? The factors of negative 4 are positive 2 and negative 2. Meaning to say we have now our answer by having two simple steps. To check our answer on special products, we will have x times x equals x squared. Positive 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Now let us have our second example. x squared minus 25y squared equals the quantity of x minus, y, uh, minus 5y times the quantity of x plus 5y. So is this a difference of two squares? Yes, x squared, perfect square, 25 is a perfect square, y squared is a perfect square, two perfect squares being subtracted, that is an example of a difference of two squares. Now let's have the factors having the two easy steps that we have. First, consider the first term, positive x squared. Factor the positive x squared, the factors are x and x. Next, consider the second term, negative 25y squared. The factors of negative 25y squared are negative 5y and positive 5y. Negative, so we have negative and positive. Can this two signs be interchanged? Yes, this can be interchanged. It can be positive here or negative here, negative or positive here. So, it can be interchanged. For 25, you'll have 5 and 5. And for y squared, you will have y and y. So, we have these two factors. Let's do the checking. x times x equals x squared. Negative 5y times positive 5y equals negative 25y squared. Okay, math lovers. Now, let us have a level up example and having difference or factoring difference of two squares. Our example now is 4x to the 4th minus 9y squared equals the quantity of 2x squared minus 3y times the quantity of 2x squared plus 3y. So, is this an example of a difference of two squares? Let us evaluate. 4x raised to 4 or 4x to the 4th. So this is an this is a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square. X to the fourth is a perfect square. 4 an even exponent is a perfect square. Minus 9y squared 9 is a perfect square and y squared is a perfect square. Two perfect squares being subtracted. So that is an example of a difference of two squares. So how did we get our answer, the factors? Let us have the two easy steps. First, consider the first term, positive 4x to the fourth. The factors of 4x to the fourth are 2x squared and 2x squared. 4, we have 2 and 2. x to the 4th, we have x squared and x squared. Next, get the factors of negative 9y squared. The factors are 3y and 3y or positive 3y and negative 3y. Factors of negative 9, we have negative 3 and positive 3. Factors of y squared, we have y and y. So, let us let us check. Let's have the checking of special products. 2x squared times 2x squared, that is equal to 4x to the 4th. Negative 3y times positive 3y, that is equal to negative 9y squared. So, we get our answer right.
And so, mat lovers, we're done with our discussion on factoring difference of two squares. I hope you have learned from the three examples that we have. Now, let us have the recap of the steps. So, the first step is consider the first term. Get the factors of the first term. And for the second step, get the factors of the second term. So, two easy steps. I hope you learn from it. Keep on learning, keep on watching, and be math lovers.